Wrong button. <laughs> hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Spartalheim. I'm Flinger Foo, and today, well, I woke up today. We actually have a little bit of egg generation, and no mind the spoiled meat in my inventory. I just carry around that in my pocket for good luck every once in a while. All right, but um, yeah. So we don't have any Rex eggs. We do have Raptor eggs. Uh, we do have a Mo Shops egg. So it is working, and it is giving us stuff. But we need to go out, and we need to go get some more. Also, we need to keep an eye out for, give me that. It's only five extra armor, but uh, we're gonna, uh, uh, you get the not, you know, maybe we should dye that up, but uh, I wanna see what this also looks like, but this is also just the basic one. That looks pretty good, I'm just saying. Looking pretty good. All right, but yeah, uh, so today what I wanna do, I wanna go out and I want to uh, get some more kibble before I get uh, easily distracted by everything that is yeah, around me. You know how it is. Oh wow, my trough has run empty. Alright, see that's an issue. Here, y'all so you guys can have that spoiled meat as well. Okay, uh, also, let's see how much berries you got. Oh, well, you got a lot, you got a lot of yellow berries, so we're gonna take that. Alright. Uh, let's see. Uh, pull... A Marberry? Gotta wait. There we go. Uh, all. Yes. Eat up, guys. All right, you guys got steaks and uh, lemon berries. I th well, they're yellow. I mean, we just think we can imagine that they're that they will uh, taste like uh, lemons or maybe even uh, little uh, yellow tomatoes. That's a, that's how actually how I envision that they would taste. All right, I uh, mean, honestly, how would you guys? I mean, because I know I've done a video on how to make proper dodo kibble. But, uh, and that's what I used in place of the, uh, yellow berries was, uh, yellow tomatoes. And so, because that's the closest approximation I could find at the time. But yeah, that video is many years old. All right. But hey, let's head out. Let's go see if we can actually go find some more things to add to our kibble farm. Because the kibble is working and it's a long process to actually build up a bunch of kibble. But also, I love going out on adventures. So any excuse to get me out of the base and do an adventure is A-OK -okay and fine by me because... There's a purple loot drop waiting down here. Yeah, exactly. Every time you come out, there needs to be a purple loot drop down here. And I don't think I need that. I don't think I need that either. But hey, thanks for playing. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's... Also, I'm kind of curious because I've been looking at a bit of the... Uh... The water stuff. And it's like what I said in the last video is... I mean, most of the times, whenever there's like a, I mean, you could have a mud puddle on this map and you'll have some sort of uh, Capro or some Succus Dino in there. Hey, horsey. And I mean, they get rather vicious as well. Now, I, I want to keep an eye out on those, um, the big Dino Succus ones. Yeah. Because... I want one. <laughs> I want one pretty bad. Oh. Oh. No, Foos, Foos. It's it's a herd of Foos with a bunch of Trudons. All right, we got we're going to disturb the the laws of nature here. All right, because right now they're leaving the Foos alone, but if we go in there, the Foos are dead. Actually, hold on. There's what is a Trudon right here. We can eat this Trudon. And all the other Trudons are going to aggro us. So here they come. Every Trudon in the neighborhood is like, oh, no, you didn't. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, come get some. And they're like, yeah, me eat your face. And I'm like, no, no. And now there's two foos that are nice and safe. See, I may have disrupt. Oh, well, that's a 156. I may have disrupted the balance of nature here, but I, I honestly think it's for the best. He's a male. All right, never mind. Okay, he didn't last very long. All right, but yeah, uh, that's one of the things I want to get out looking around. Also, I do eventually... Are you for real? Whoa, whoa, whoa.
You're not mad at me. We're, we're all right, right? I saw that Carno just kind of faceplant himself to death on your, uh, and it looked like your left foot. No, whoa, 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 whoa. That's how you heal. That's how you tame it, right? You have to, you have to massage the pads of its feet. Why, why are you coming at me, man? Dude. And then the amount of damage that it does is kind of astronomical. So we're just going to leave you alone to do your thing. All right. Okay. That's, uh, that's the big footy Bronto. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. But yeah, also I want to... Um, I've been hanging around a lot on the uh, this section over here, and I think I've got this section. Um, I'm really comfortable with this section, so I think we're going to start heading inland a little bit because there's been a few places that I've discovered and searched for, and we've uh, we found quite a bit of stuff. But I do think I want to uh, I want to get a bead on this yellow drop mainly, but also. I think I want to uh, get a beat on just how tough it's going to be to get the Magmasaur X because I do believe we want to get one of those eventually. Eventually, so. Oh, dude, dude, not cool, man. You were supposed to already be down here. Oh man, we also have Sandy Beavers over here. Hello, that's a 174 and a 150. Whoa, whoa. High level migration. Oh man, and, and you're gonna be 24. No, 102. Wow. You know, if I didn't have a beaver, I would grab one of you guys in a second. You guys are actually pretty dang good. And now all of them are going to die to the. There's a scorpion over there. He's, like, thinking he's angry at something, but he has, he's got no clue. Are you down? Okay, you are down. All right. Okay. All right. I think that kind of settles it. This scorpion just has no clue what's going on. He's like, I'm trying really hard. All right, let's get up here and let's go take a look and see uh, at the Magmasaur. Whoa, is that a Basilisk? That it, oh my gosh, and it's coiled around a parry. You got this, parry. I did not realize Basilisks were on this map. Okay, so that's, uh, add another thing to the list of things that we need to do and get more things. Uh, excuse me, I realize that you're busy chewing on a parasaur. Uh, I gotta get by you. Thank you. Continue. He's just got the munchies. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you? Okay, so... That's the wrestling, uh, Brachiosaurus. My gosh. Well, I'm in combat. Oh, because of you. 114 Basilisks. Okay, so Basilisks are something I was not expecting. Now I have got so many Basilisks around me. All right, good luck. Do I want to know what happened here? Anyone? Whoa, 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 dude, dude, dude. Stop it with the big farty stuff, man. It's coming out of your face. I am really not sure how to react to that other than I don't want it. And he's still following me. Dude, come on, man. I'm just up here taking a look. Can't I go into a harsh environment without having it being overly harsh? Oh. Ooh, this is pretty. What's something really nasty come out of it? This is really pretty. Too bad it's right here.
Okay, so apparently that was... Like I said, a mud puddle and there's some sort of succus in it. All right, so this right here is the magma sword bit, right? Kind of curious to see how dangerous. Oh no 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 no! Okay, no rabies for me, thanks. That was an interesting change of tone. Cave's like, oh yeah, no, welcoming. Come on down, it's all peaceful in here. And then you get down, it's like, <laughs> psych, tricked you, right? Come on, come on, bat. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, I'm, I am noping out. All right, all right, all right. So that was fun. While it lasted, we're gonna have to come back down in there when I'm a little bit braver. And of course, we've got a little bit of cave lag. Okay, so that happened just now. We will eventually have to turn our attention to getting in there and then seeing if we can actually go find the Magmasaur eggs. What are you? You guys are flaming Ankies. Oh, that's so cool. 1960. All right. All right. Well, hello. 120. Okay, not nearly as good, but they're all S. I definitely want to get me some S aloes. I love aloes so much. Apparently, those ones are on the warpath. <laughs> We went from red aloes, or red ankies to blue ankies. Where's the green, guys? Where's the green love? Watch out, Scorpion. You're running right towards a bunch of ankies that are going to eat you. And your buddy. Yep. Warned him. Okay. Remember that time a little bit ago when we went and we found... That Kentro saddle. Well, we've got a 180 Kentro right here. I think we might need to do something about that. What level are you over there? 72. I think we may have found something. We can try. All right. Got your buddy. Okay. okay. So if you're aggroed, I can kill you. Doing so much damage to myself. Where are you running to? Dude! I'm gonna have to net you. Where'd you go? Oh, oh, I see that. That was a juke. And a half. Okay. Keep an eye out. See if anybody uh, decides they want to help this guy. Oh, I like the green... Oh, man, that is so cool. Okay. Gonna get up any second. Does suck that it's a male, though, because I could hope to get a little bit of eggs, but... I mean, the colors on this guy are absolutely phenomenal. One, reload, please. Reload. Thank you. Oh, 
Ouch. Hello. Oh, you're not even running. You're just like, yeah, you're peeved. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, now you're running. Hello. Would have thought I would have gotten lost. Oh, there you are. Yeah, you thought you were going to get away. Oh, too soon. Too soon. Apparently we leveled. All right. And of course I missed. These things are expensive, dude. Thank you. And of course we missed the first one. Every time. And the second one. There we go. Okay, now he's out. Okay, all right. So, we probably should have brought some veggies. There's a saber, uh, uh, a snaggle tooth up here. All right. There's no longer a snaggle tooth up here. All right. Okay, let's quickly run over. Last time I left one of these guys in the wild, it got eaten. So, oh, hey, we got some, uh, nerdy glasses. All right. So, I'm going to let this guy starve a little bit so where, honestly, it'll, it'll just make me feel better. There's really no reason to starve him other than the fact that I want the veggies. I, I want to actually kind of guard this guy a little bit. Um, yeah. And I don't have food with me either. Are you going to need narcotics? You should be good. All right, let's go get some uh, veggies from the farm. Actually... We have veggies up at the base. We're not too far from the base. Let's turn on the tracker. And let's go get the veggies and the food just in case if we need narcotics. Hello. Mm-hmm. Am I going the right way? Probably not. Yes, I am. Okay, I'm on the opposite side of those guys. That's cool. I never realized that was there. Getting sidetracked. Okay. I gotta stop being sidetracked. Let's go get the stuff for the stuff so where we can get the other stuff and then uh, use the saddle that we got. To, uh, whoa, hello. What is in that water? Oh, it's one of those big dudes. 72. Okay. Hi, dwarf dudes. Coming through. Never mind me. All right. Let's see. Uh, we got our... I keep remembering. I got a face plant on, on those. If you face plant, they just auto open. Okay. So there's our narcotics. And we should have veggies. Yes, and this Kentro, uh, I bet you he likes lemonade. I'm just saying, lemonade's good stuff, right? Uh, and we'll take a little bit of... Measures just... Okay, got it, nailed it. Let's get our butt back out of here. All right, nobody was chewing on him, right? Okay. Hopefully I got the right stuff. Yes. All right. He's eating them. Okay. We're going to be here a minute. Yep. Just a minute. All right. Okay. We're going to keep guard on this guy. Wait till he gets uh, up. 
But we also have the saddle. I've been looking forward to riding one of these suckers for a while. Just to see, because I've never been... I've never ridden a Kentro before, because normally in regular non-modded arc, you just can't ride them. I've always wanted to do this. That's a, that's a you know. Really. I don't think so, dude. Yeah. Don't think so, man. I saw you eyeing it. The midday music on this map is so weird. It's so loud in your ears. You're like, am I in combat? But no, it's like the music of Ark Wonder. And then uh, it still puts me on edge. It makes me go, uh, okay, what bad stuff is going to come eat me? Probably this. You know, in this mod, that thing's going to sprout fangs and turn into a weirdo where the Plotticus and then come eat me. Like try to suck my brains out or something. I, it's weird stuff. It's that moment where you're trying to keep your distance from your tame, and then you're like, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I mean, this way here, if they, I mean, you're trying to cut down on the spawns that spawn right around you, because if you move, then wild things are going to spawn if you leave the area. But all these loot drops in the distance are coming down. There's a, a purple one over there, a yellow one over there. It looks like a red one coming down in the distance, another purple one. Oh, man. Oh, all the loot I'm missing because of you, dude. Ah. <sighs> I mean, I would have missed the loot most of it anyway because I'm usually off doing other things. But still, this stuff right here is just right in my face and it's like showing me, hey, you're missing this loot. Ah. Okay, as we're sitting here, one thing I have noticed. Look at the tree right above where the Kentro is. Just look at it. Look at the branches. Is it just me or is that a basilisk? I think it's going to pop out of the ground any moment and eat me. I'm going to go down there and try to check to see, make sure that uh, my Kentro has enough lemons in its inventory, and it's going to pop out and be like, Rawr! Eat face fart. Yeah. That is a weirdly unnatural looking tree. <laughs> it's funky. Apparently this one in the distance is missing his buddy. Coming over to find out what's going on. Where his buddy went to. He can hear him over here snoring. Hey, you just hang out over there with your parasaur. Be fine. Yeah, just it was the parasaur over here snoring. Whoa, hello. Walk away. Walk away, dude. Well, at least you eat me and not my uh, Kentro. I appreciate that. Anyone else? Want to pick a fight? Anyone? Okay. Yes, walk back into your trees. It was just a parasaur over here that was snoring. Mm-hmm. Nothing to see here. I think this stego just scent marked me. Mm-hmm. That's disgusting. Yeah, you just keep moving. Right? Oh, and now they're coming in. I'm giving you guys the play-by-play -play as uh, this thing is taming, but I've got I've got a lot of time. I'm just sitting here, and there's a red drop right there. Oh, still coming down, but I'm gonna watch it. I may end up getting pulled away just to go get this red drop. <sighs> All right, we're down to our last bite of lemon. Oh man, and you know what? I found. I think I figured out the perfect name for our Kentro. Because it is seasoned with lemon. Sweet tea. Because sweet tea is best when seasoned with a little bit of lemon. All right. Doesn't have the colors of it. I will take those back. Thank you very much. All right. What are your stats? 337 melee. Hey, 5,000. Wow. You're kind of a beast. All right. Well, let's put you in our pocket, sweet tea. And let's get our butt back up there and go see if we can figure out where I left your saddle. And the red drop uh, escaped me. Now we've only got a blue way off in the distance. All that loot gone because of our sweet tea. All right, so we have our Kentro saddle. 79 armor. I'm still amazed at just how good that was. All right, let's pop this over here, save our lemons. And also, I was thinking about a couple different ways I want to actually uh, put 
our crop growth here. And I think there's actually a pretty interesting way we can do it and still get the 300% inside of our base because of how I built it. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to it, and I think I'm going to probably be doing that in the next video. I, honestly, it sounds like a lot of fun. All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, let's take sweet tea, throw you out here, and we're going to go take you around. Oh, well, you've got... Oh, aloe's been eating on you. Yeah, I hate it when that happens to me. Okay, now that is so funky. All right. Wow, you're actually decently fast. Your stamina actually seems to be lasting a little bit. I mean, your stamina's been... It goes down pretty quick, but... I mean, it's not Thyla-style stamina, but it's still decent. All right, so left-click. Eat. Right click is that. Right, right click and hold. No, let's see. Oh, see. Oh, see. Oh, we can butt pound. Yes, thank you. That's kind of cool. All right, let's go butt pound some stuff. Raptors, come on. I've got you latched. Oh my gosh, I can latch onto you and then. Oh, hold on. Holy, okay, that is so cool. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dang, we can butt latch things with our spiky butt. All right, how big of things can we butt latch? Can we butt latch you? No. We still hit pretty dang well, though. I mean, we're doing... No, 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 don't, don't, no. That was not as cool. All right, so... All right, so the face attack doesn't do nearly as much as the butt. So... Use the butt. Just get that butt moving all left and right and jiggly and make sure things just fall down in your path because of our super butt powers. Come on. Okay, so if we look this way, we swing that way. If we look this way, you swing that way. Okay, so apparently we are a, uh, we're a righty. So yeah, we uh, butt smack to the right. We are not an ambi butter. Okay. I would prefer to have been an ambi butter, but uh, apparently that is not in the cards. Oh, four levels. How much do you get? 49.40. Wow, 260. How about melee? 337.2. Wow, that's not bad either. That's 4.7. But stamina, 1380. Okay, these Kentros, they level up quite nicely. Oh man, okay. We might have to breed some of these just to see just how dangerous and treacherous and scary they can be because I have a feeling with the stats on this. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Okay, we are an ambi. We are. We're an ambi. All right, we're gonna have to duck down into the water to get away. Those guys are dealing too much damage. The wolves on this map are just too insane. Okay, good thing we can outswim them. Wow. Woo, okay, let's get away from those wolves. All right, that was bad. I'm not, I'm not even sure I want to look around. Good thing we've got plenty of stamina. Okay, so wolves kick the crap out of this dude. You just get out of my way, Agalimimus. Right? Okay, that was bad. Woo! Woo! 
Okay, so wolves, not good. But then again, wolves were messing up my thyla too. So, yeah, the paleo wolves or the ex wolves on this deal so much. Come on. Oh. Sorry, I was just going to pick you up and take you home. Sorry. But now, uh, Sweet Tea has to go get up and get some healing. But he this dude is really cool, though. Oh, no, 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 no. Not a car, no. Not a car, no. You're aggroing on me? No? You mean get up here. Okay, so apparently the Carno doesn't aggro on us. Good to know. Get up here. He's actually looking. Later, dude. Oh, wow. So, and also we did figure out that they it, this is an Ambitail uh, swiper. So, yeah. We've got Ambitail. That is good. Big sweet tea. You're pretty fun. Too bad you got your butt kicked by direwolves. We kind of had to uh, cut it short. Now you need to heal up a little bit because I don't have any veggie cakes. We will get veggie cakes up and going, though. I do need to go get bees, though. Um, that is one of the big things I am missing from the veggie cake is bees. So that's on the menu. Raptor just laughed. He's like, oh, I don't need any of that stupid stuff. Just force feed me. Stuff, stuff a burger down my throat and I'm good. Right? All right. But hey, anyway. Wow. So we got a Kentro and we finally put a saddle on our Kentro. That is super cool. I've never ridden a Kentro before. That, those dudes are tanky. They're beefy. Too bad dire wolves, they uh, bypass a lot of that. But. Yeah. All right. But anyway, hey, I think that's going to do it for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I had a ton of fun. I usually do. All right. But hey, anyway, if you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And if you're looking to rent a server, uh, you can always look towards G Portal. Link on my channel banner or down in the description down below for 10% off the life of your server. All right. Take it easy, everybody.